your world um, maybe in the next five, ten years where things will be connected. Uh, and what I mean by things, uh, things are in your house, whether it's your fridge, whether it's your dishwasher, whether it's all those things. You can see movements in Europe where they're starting to think about how they are re going to regulate energy and usage based on all of these things. Uh, it's also about cars. It's all about many, many different things that today we don't consider to be, uh, you know, two arm and two leg human beings. And in terms of the, uh, the wireless technology, we now believe at Intel that there isn't a single technology that is going to be able to serve all these needs. Bottom line. Um, that's just the way it is. We may as well accept it. It's a multi-com world. We also believe that uh, WiMAX is not like Betamax. The baby is born. It does work. Customers have expectations. And uh, when we talk about convergence, when we talk about what's going to happen going forward, we're going to need to figure out a way to make all this stuff work together. Point one. We are also uh, <laughs> realistic and understand that LTE is not going away. Uh, it's here to stay. And therefore, convergence between those two technologies is absolutely going to be necessary. And uh, it's going to be in the interest of uh, both camps. Uh, I was amused earlier listening to uh, some of the LTE deployment. It sort of reminds me of some of the 16E deployments four years ago, and people saying, oh, now it's going to go live and uh, commercial big time uh, in 12 months. We all know the reality in wireless, yeah? That's just not how it works. So it's going to take a while for all this stuff to be ubiquitous and to work together. But bottom line, we think it's multicom. We think a wireless plan, wireless plan, wireless one, and the different flavors of it are going to coexist together. And we think that there is still a lot of life left in 16E and in 16E+. We're very, very proud of what happened uh, during the unfortunate circumstances in Japan. And why Max did very well. Now, let's also be realistic. If we had 30 million people trying to make a phone call on YMAX, we probably would have had problems too. 